Next sample problem. What would the final temperature be if 250.0 joules of heat were transferred into 10.0 grams of methanol initially at 20.0 degrees Celsius? So let's identify what are some of our givens. So question says, what would the final temperature be? So we know that TF is something we're going to need to find. This is going to be our unknown, right? Uh, 250.0 joules, right? This is our Q, the amount of heat. Uh, required to transfer 10.0 grams, um, which is going to be our M value of methanol. So you, you'd have to look up methanol and the specific heat capacity of methanol. Find your C value. Teacher would give it to you. Uh, there might be a table in your textbook um, that will help you, will guide you along the way to find the specific heat capacity of methanol. And finally, 20.0 degrees Celsius. This is our uh, initial temperature so let's look at our given now just list them out and so what we have here our q 250 joules mass 10 uh, grams our specific heat capacity of uh, methanol 2.918 joules per grams uh, degrees celsius right again like i said this is our given and now the thing to be careful here with is our delta t is equal to tf minus our ti right our final temperature subtracted by our initial temperature um, and so what's going to happen here is um, really our unknown is within this TF minus TI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the equation Q is equal to MC delta T. My advice is rearrange the equation right? first. So rearrange these letters. So what we want is we want to isolate for delta T. It's on this side of the equal sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it on this side of the equal sign. And it's going to equal C. I want to get rid of this MC, but because the function between MC and this delta T is multiplication, when I move it across the equal sign, it becomes division. So I'm going to be dividing Q by MC. So now what, I, what I'm going to probably be doing next is substituting numbers into each one of these letters. So instead of Q, I am going to put in what the value of Q is. So 250 joules. I'm not going to put in the 0 0.0. Now, the thing to keep in mind, though, um, remember that your least number of significant digits in your question, uh, depending on the, the function, right, if you're multiplying or dividing, it'll be based on the least number of significant digits. So you can ignore these point zeros just for argument's sake in your, uh, in your uh, problem solving, but remember to go back to those significant digits or decimal places depending on whatever is your final function. So we've got uh, mass, which is 10 grams, right, multiplied by my C value, which is 2.918 joules per gram degrees Celsius equals to delta T. And our delta T, we've broken down to being TF, right, our final temperature, subtracted by 20 degrees Celsius. So what we're going to see here is ultimately joules is going to cancel out, grams is going to cancel out, and our final units obviously is it's going to have to be um, degrees Celsius because, well, that's what's going to... Um, what we're going to actually get. So when we actually do this calculation here, right? When we're going to do this calculation here, 250. This is what I'm going to do first. I'm going to do this, this, this part here of the equation of the equal sign first, and I'm going to get 8.57 degrees Celsius is going to equal to TF minus 20 degrees. Celsius. Now, thing to keep in mind, though, we are um, uh, when we're doing this is such a calculation. Um, what we're going to be doing, what we're going to be seeing now, is well, this part here, this 8.57 degrees Celsius, is what we get here. All right, so we're going to multiply these two. This will be our denominator divided by that, right? Uh, which will give me this. So now what I'm going to do is I want to isolate for TF. So TF is going to stay and we're going to get rid of this um, negative or this minus 20 degrees Celsius. We're going to bring it over on this side. When we do, it becomes 
plus 20 degrees Celsius. So TF is going to equal to um, 8 point, uh, let me just, let me redo that. My tablet's acting up. 8.57 degrees Celsius. I'm going to add it to 20. I'm going to put in my 0 0.0 degrees Celsius because that's really what we've got. Um, keep in mind now because the final function is addition. It is based on the least number of decimal places in my question. Least number of decimal places in my question is one decimal place. So I'm going to make sure that my answer is going to also have one decimal place. So TF is actually going to equal 28.57 degrees Celsius. But I only want one decimal place, right? Because one decimal place is my least number of significant digits. So I'm going to look at the number I'm going to ignore. And my final temperature is going to equal to 28.6 degrees Celsius. So therefore, the final temperature for this heat uh, question would be 28.6 degrees Celsius for methanol.